been almost, it's just been a week since uh, we lost firefighter Patrick Wilderman. An investigation into the cause of the fire started almost immediately. The investigative team consisted of members of the Hamilton Police and Fire Departments, State Fire Marshal's Office, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. The fire at 1310 Pater Avenue has been ruled an arson. As a result of this ruling, firefighter Wilderman's death will be handled as a homicide investigation and the Hamilton Police Department will become the lead investigative agency. Chief Bukite's going to speak in a moment about the investigation, but before turning it over to him, I'd like to speak, speak briefly in regards to the public records requests that we've been inundated with, and specifically the radio traffic during the incident. We prepared this afternoon for you to look at and fulfill many of those requests, but before doing so, I feel it's necessary to make a statement. So do you want to kind of pick it up the We're prepared this afternoon to fulfill your request, but before doing so, I have to make a statement. Before playing this on the evening news or attaching it to your file in your newspaper article, I ask that if this was your son, your husband, your family member that was on the scene of this horrific crime, would you want the news to play this? Is it sensationalism? Does it make for a great soundbite? Probably so. But the angst and the despair that it causes the family and friends of Patrick Wilterman is unconscionable. I implore you once more, please think of his family and his friends before releasing the information, merely because you can. Thank you, and at this time, I'm gonna introduce Chief Craig Bukai to the Hamilton Police Department. Good afternoon. Every loss of life resulting from a criminal act receives our best investigative efforts. But this case is different. It's different because it hits so close to home. It's different because it involves the loss of a fellow safety service member and firefighter Patrick Walterman. It's different because we know how devastating this loss has been to Patrick's family, his fellow firefighters, in our entire community. The loss weighs heavily on the hearts and minds of those of us who are charged with investigating this case. But I can assure you, we will tirelessly examine every piece of evidence, pursue every lead, and work every angle of this investigation until we deliver justice to those who are responsible. And we're not doing this alone. In fact, Director Scramese referenced, we have an entire task force that's dedicated to solving this. It includes the Hamilton Fire Department, State Fire Marshal, the ATF, Butler County Prosecutor's Office, and Crime Stoppers. In conjunction with our investigation, the Hamilton Police Department and the Ohio Blue Ribbon Arson Committee is offering $10,000 reward for information it leads to the identification and conviction of those responsible for this crime. Those with information are asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 352-3040 or our Investigations Division, 868-5811, extension 2002. We've been approached by other organizations that plan to pledge additional funding. We're coordinating those pledges through Captain McManus. His information is gonna be released Part of the release here at the end of the, uh, the committee here. As Director Scamese spoke to, we've been inundated with public records requests. And those requests have been directed to various city, county personnel. 
we co coordinate the release of these requests to our investigations division. So this, this afternoon, we've been able to fulfill the vast majority of those. There's two calls, a 911 call, a burglar alarm call. There's audio traffic, radio traffic for the fire department, for the police department. There is a cruiser video, and there are two reports that will be released this afternoon. At this time, I'd like to ask that uh, any additional requests that haven't been fulfilled by that information that we're releasing today and future requests be directed to Captain Mark McManus. Again, his information is going to be included in the release that will be forwarded at the end of this conference. At this time, we will uh, allow for questions. However, I'm not going to answer any questions regarding. We'll take some questions, but we're not going to take any questions regarding the investigation. As far as uh, questions regarding the fire department or their personnel, uh, Chief Dawson is here, and uh, Chief of the Fire Marshal is here as well. talking about the investigation, and uh, let me be clear, we're not going to answer any questions regarding the investigation. Um, obviously, you understand the circumstances there. Any questions not involved in the investigation? It's been ruled arson. Can you tell us what led up to the finding that it was arson? Yeah. Back, back to the investigation. Any questions not related to the investigation? Again, I, I'm, I'm going to defer to uh, uh, that back to the investigation. So, what is it you hope that the public can provide to you? What kind of information are you looking for? What don't you have that you need the public to tell you about? Well, we'd like the public to provide any information that they have that uh, we think can help us solve this. So, information about uh, uh, about the fire itself, anything they saw. Uh, anything they've heard, uh, if they have family or friends, anyone has information that they think is important, even if they don't think it's important. If they have information that um, could potentially impact our investigation, we want to hear about it. So we've already received a lot of information, a lot of tips, a lot of folks have called in with information. Uh, we know there are people out there who know things, who have heard things, and we're just asking that information to keep flowing. Yes, they are back in town, and we have talked to the owner of the house. Have they been talking? Yes. Have you been getting any news whatsoever? Fire is talking to them. I can tell you that we, we've uh, received a number of leads, a number of tips. We're following up on all those. Uh, it's taken a, a substantial amount of our time and, um, and resources here over the past week. Can you talk at all about how long the fire started before the firefighters entered the apartment, excuse me, the house looking for the possible I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Can you talk, can you talk about how, uh, how much manpower time you've been putting in doing this around the clock since the fire? Uh, it has. Uh, frankly, these investigators, uh, again, I spoke to um, the enormity of this loss, uh, and what that means to us here at the police department, and how close this has hit to home. Uh, frankly, we've had to send them home a couple nights uh, because they've been in here nonstop. Uh, we've had to send them home to get rest because they're following up on this. Uh, in addition to the investigation, uh, we also had the, the planning and, this, and the arrangements for, um, for the funeral. And, um, you know, all this is, is uh, taking a significant toll on, um, you know, on the hearts and minds of our personnel and the firefighters, uh, Hamlet Fire Department. But um, this is now, at this point, moving in uh, a, a different direction here as far as the, uh, the arson investigation and, and moving forward publicly with that information. So I thank you all for coming today. And, um, and uh, again, please direct any future requests to Captain McManus and Sergeant Bonds.
in his uh, brief time here, we'll continue to uh, coordinate our uh, public informations. Thank you very much.